diagram and let's discuss. So here digits is equal to zero. Initially, I've taken a variable by name digits and the number of digits are zero because we haven't counted it again till now. And we have taken a variable to store the number that is given by the user. So here we are asking the user to enter non-negative numbers. So every time he has to give any number from zero to infinity, positive infinity. Now scan if we are going to scan and first what we are going to do is do we have to check we have to check first we are going to do the body of the loop will get executed here let's assume that if if he has given 1 2 3 now n is equal to 1 2 3 by 10 now the new value of initially the value of n is equal to 1 2 3 now the new value of n will become 12 so 1 2 3 by 10 so this one is going to be 12.3 so this one will get discarded and the new value of n will become uh, 12 and digit will be incremented now what is the value of digit previously it is 0 now it has become 1 okay now we are going to check so this is where the concept of do well comes into action first the body has been executed now the comparison now what is the new value of n which is 12 is the value of 12 greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 now the body of the loop will get executed again now with the new value of n which is uh, uh, 12 12 by 10 the new value is going to be 1 so 12 by 10 is equal to 1.2 this one will get discarded so the new value of n is equal to 1 now digits will be incremented so the number of digits will become 2 and now we are going to compare 1 greater than 0 is it true yes it is true so again the body of the loop will get executed now 1 by 10 so here uh, the new value of n is equal to so whenever a 1 by 10 will get executed it is 0 0.1 this one will get discarded so the final value the division value of 1 by 10 is going to produce an outcome of 0 okay so the new value of n is 0 okay so now what we have to do so uh, again so the digits the, the count of digits will get incremented so 1 divided by 0 so the count will get incremented again we are going to compare the value of n greater than 0 is it greater no it is equal to 0 so as it is equal to 0 so we are going to come out of this loop and we are going to print this 